Um, basically, Bridget has asked a question about Amazon because it reports earnings on January 28th. We will talk about the technical part. We'll talk about how overbought it was in the cycle looking at the monthly chart. Why would somebody take the other side? We were 90% overbought on a monthly chart. And this stock in its current existence that I can go back from the day that we were buying it back in 97 all the way up to the 99 top, it got 75% here. It got back in 2000 when we were selling short. This was all the split prices. I have never seen it in the existence of its publicly traded company, you know, as far as an equity, as overbought on this monthly chart. I think that it was like 91 right here, and I think there was a peak around 92, but I've never seen the equity that overbought in its entire existence since it's been on a publicly traded exchange. Therefore, it's about taking a short position ahead of time. Unable to save file X rendered video. Hold on. So back to the monthly tape here is, is that, it's a, hey, the stock has performed great. It's going to go into an earnings report. The stock has been in a trading range, which I will show on the weekly. It hit a high of 142 and some change. What we have here is we have a monthly technical reversal. And let me explain the reversal part of what's going on here, other than it's extremely overbought, is that as long as Amazon.com cannot close above the lower end of this body, of that red bar, Okay, so far the monthly bar is below it, as we can see. That upper trend line, not that top trend line, but this one right here where my pointer is, is Amazon cannot close above there. That means that Amazon is a short. And Amazon is overbought, so any upward movement is a sell short on Amazon. And this is the actual monthly indicator that establishes overbought and oversold conditions. And yes, hey, it's been a great trend, and we had a great monthly consolidation, and we had monthly breakouts, and they were great. Hold on one second. There's, I'm going to pull up a weekly chart. Hold on. All right, here we are. Uh, the chart here, this is a monthly Bollinger Band that when the stock finally broke up, that upward band went higher, and Amazon had a great, great three-month breakout to the top to that reversal from a monthly perspective. The 10-month moving averages are rising. Everything is bullish, except there's one problem. We are extremely overbought within the cycle. We are 16.56 on the moving average convergence divergence. The percent DS, which runs faster is not a, it's not up here on a 91 you know you don't get too much more extreme than this on a monthly chart even in the best of very bull markets you don't and they always will have to correct and fail the 10 month moving average is always going to be the lower end of the support right above, there at 101 dollars that's the monthly part let's take a look at the weekly cycle which is an 800 week chart that's going to give a five-day trading range because these are five every five days equals one of these bars here and basically on the weekly chart we've got what we call a topping pattern this was the actual top right here we had a reversal and a, that's called a 10-day reversal because each one of these are five days each we had a move up to what we call a lower high and now we've had another double week reversal. The blue line is the 10 week moving average and we have closed below it. Here in the SMF Pro Trading School, we're gonna draw a line of what traders are taught and, and investors is, is that if Amazon cannot close above this trend line, 
this called horizontal trend line there, um, you would be shorting into resistance all the time. If we continue to get four weeks below the 10-week moving average, meaning technically we have one week. Now, let me show everybody on the weekly. We have not had a closing price below the 10-week moving average, which is the blue line. We kind of dipped below it here, and we had a little dip there, but it quickly got above it. Well, hey, not only are we below that 10-week moving average, the 10-week is not rising like this, ascending like this. It's flattening out. If it turns over, any up move in Amazon has to be sold short. And that is the fundamentals of this weekly chart. All you have to do now is go to www.stockmarketfunding.com. Uh, learn all of the things that we teach you about the relevancy of the momentum. We're overbought on a monthly. We're overbought on a weekly. There is a change, and this is a one, two, three, four, five, top five-week topping pattern right through here with a double-week reversal of the actual topping pattern. And it's been a five-week uh, trading range. And when an equity puts in a top, you can have these tops. There's that trend line. And these tops start with a blow-off top, a reversal, a retest to a lower high of the top with the double-week reversal. That was the five-week trading range. So you could make money selling short going down here, and you could have went long and got out here, and you could have went short again. And it's in a trend reversal right now. That's the weekly chart, Amazon.com. 